Hi guys, Omar with Overland you Just Cause and this video is about the Lexus GX Stinguisher, the Jeep Commander. In this video, I am switching the awning and the Pelican cases. Um, I did the same exact video yesterday. Everything was great. I showed a lot of things. I even installed the Pelican cases already. Uh, but when I went to edit, I had no audio so I'm doing it all over again and I'm just gonna use what I had from yesterday as b-roll one thing I am doing differently is the way I'm installing the pelican cases so I was using bolts and what I was doing was I was sliding it through the channel and putting the the pelican cases through it and then putting the wing nut on and that little system worked for a while, I mean, the Pelican cases, the boxes didn't come loose, nothing. I keep saying Pelican cases. This one's a Pelican case, these are monoprices. So instead of using these long bolts, and one problem that I had was these rotate. So once I've got the boxes in and I'm putting the wing nut, once it got to a certain point, the bolt would just rotate with the wing nut. So what I ended up having to do was hold the tip of the bolt so that there's pressure on the channel and then tighten up the wing nut and it was just a pain in the butt well I realized that these little channel nuts work great they slide in and when I put the bolt through now there's there's no rotating because it just fits in there perfectly these channel nuts actually come like this and I got these at Lowe's and they come with a spring and they're meant for unistrut, building up, connecting unistrut together. So what I ended up doing is buying a six pack of these for like seven bucks, taking the spring off, just tearing it off or clipping it off. And now I just, I'm left with this piece. I mentioned Lowe's a six pack for eight bucks, seven, eight bucks, only because you can find them on Amazon without the spring. I think a set of seven or eight for 25 bucks. So your best bet if you're using something like this is just to go to Lowe's. The other thing I want to mention is the fact that with the old system where the bolt was sticking out through the channel, I had a good probably inch and a half of actual you know bolt coming out when it comes out and i have the wing nut wing nut tightened again you know extra uh, extra inch and a half so that kind of really limited what i could fit in here because i have four of these in each uh in each box so now when i put bags or straps i could tear or start fraying i don't know i just had to be very careful how i put it in and how i took it out with this system here with that channel uh nut sliding through I'm able to stick the bolt going down. And now, as you can see, I pretty much have a flat surface. Now I did use pretty thick rubber washers and that's gonna keep the, uh, the rain out. With the old system and with the new system, so far, no rain has gotten in, no dust, but we'll just see how long this new system lasts. The only thing I'm worried about are the bolts actually vibrating loose. So we'll see. I'll just, I'll just keep checking and I'll keep you posted on it. The last thing is this. I want to show you the difference between Pelican Case Monoprice. This one was donated to me from a buddy. Uh, he wasn't using it anymore. He had a lot of camera gear in it, kept it inside. He sold his camera gear, gave me the box. But, and then this one I got from Amazon. Um, I'll leave it in the description below. And I can get on Amazon monoprice cases this size. I just chose not to, but they are significantly cheaper. What I want to show you is that the expensive name brand Pelican and the monoprice got put on this roof rack at the same time. The sun has really damaged the more expensive name brand one and the monoprice one still looks like it's brand new. So let me show you. As you can see, it's, it's like faded, right? I mean, it's still, still keeping the water out, still keeping the dust out. It's still working as far as inside, but this one and this one still look like new.
just a heads up if you're looking to get some kind of boxes up and you don't want to spend a lot of money i know rome is a good case and there's a couple of other uh brands but yeah it's not always about the name so because i did all of this yesterday i just kind of want to show you the process i'm, I'm going to take the front box out i'm going to loosen up the screw show you how the uh, nuts kind of slide in and then how i aligned everything and just bolted it in all right so there it goes I don't want to move them because they're set perfectly put the box back on but this is exactly how it looks and how it looked before was with that bolt sticking out like that so when with the wing nut on there and you know I like I said I still had about an inch and a half popping out and again if I'm putting you know recovery straps and things like that and just the vibration of it against this i did have caps on the on the on the tips of them but still i mean it limited uh the space right it takes up space i was trying to fit stuff around these bolts and it was just a pain and again it was the first system i came up with and i mean it worked it kept the the cases on the roof rack they didn't budge but once i got the trailer and i took everything off i was kind of looking for a different way. I already had these channel nuts from making the Unistrup uh, when I put, put it in the back of the Jeep. So when I took it all apart and I kept all the extra pieces, uh, I realized like, hey, this slide's imperfect. So uh, why not use it? So yeah, that's how I did it. Let's put it back on. So again, my only concern with this system is that they vibrate loose. Just um, every couple weeks, I'll check it. I'll move the boxes around to see if they vibrate. Um, right now, they don't, they don't bud. We'll just see. But I have a little bit more space now because I don't have those uh, big bolts sticking out. And yeah, I did that for all three of them. And that was it. And one last thing I want to show you is just the spacing between each. As you can see, I start, there's a little bit of a gap right before the light up there on the roof rack. There's a little bit of a gap right between the first two, and then a little bit of a gap, more of a gap here, only because I had to give a little extra space uh, when the door opens up. I didn't want it to hit that. So right now, I can open it up, and it doesn't hit. And then this one is set the same way. And doesn't move. Now that there's no rain, I mean, there is rain in the forecast, but I think we have time to put the awning up. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm almost done. I have two bolts on each of the brackets. Better than last time, before I had one bolt in the middle right here on each of the brackets. So I have two, so better security on that. The only thing that I don't like is that I still have this length right here that eventually weight will, there's too much pressure on these bolts. All right, so with the old system, what I did with the brackets is I put these u-bolts uh, on here like this and again I just didn't like how much it stuck out here I didn't like you know just all this under here so what I am going to replace it with are these metal bands pipe bands metal bands you get them at at uh, any uh, hardware store but I'm gonna wrap them around as you can see I have them on the on the rack these are rusting, eventually I'll switch these out, but the other ones are not, so it's weird. Um, and they're all the same. All right, I have two different sizes. I'm gonna see which size 
is best. This one I've already used before. Let's see if I can use it again. Nice and tight, not moving. All right, so let's put two more and we're done. Okay, I'm not gonna open up the awning because it, it's drizzling. I don't want it to get all damp. Everything looks even, the doors open up. That's a plus. Pelican cases are on, they're not budging. I am gonna keep an eye on them uh, to make sure that the bolts don't come loose. These I'm not as worried about because I have lock washers on them, but I will check them from time to time, just like I check these bands. And that's it guys. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. If you have uh, any suggestions on how I can make any of this stuff better, please let me know. And last thing is, I just hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you very much. I think it's awesome. Uh, I hit it under my eight month mark. So I think that's super exciting. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.